Hello, everybody. We're going to read a story. Froggy plays in the band. Who knows what a band is? A band is an organized group of musicians. A musician is somebody that plays an instrument. What kind of instruments do you see? What do you think the story is about? Let's find out. At school one day, Froggy read a sign. It said, great, said Froggy, a band contest. He flopped over to see his, to Miss Martin, the music teacher. Flop, flop, flop. What's the big prize, asked Froggy. It's a surprise, she said. If you and your friends start a marching band and complete against other schools in the Apple Blossom Parade, you can win the prize. What will I play, wondered Froggy. Then he remembered his dad's old saxophone. And after school, he flopped up to the attic. Flop, flop, flop and started blowing his dad's horn. Honk, bleep, screech. Froggy, called his dad. What? Quiet, please, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone too, cried Froggy, the saxophone. Honk. Do you think Froggy knows how to play the saxophone? Next day, Froggy got his band together and he practiced in his yard. Max on drums, kaboom. Leah on the triangle, tingling. Emma on the recorder, tweedledee. And Hannah, her twin on cymbals, clash. I want to join too, said Froggelina. What do you play, asked Froggy. Nothing, she said, but I can do this. And she twirled a baton, tossed it high into the air, and caught it behind her back. Ta-da! Every day after school, Froggy's ragtag band marched around and around the playground. Honk, kaboom, tingling, tweedledee, clash. And every day, Miss Martin told them the rules for marching. Don't look left. Don't look right and don't stop for anything. What if you have to go to the bathroom, asked Froggy. Don't stop for anything, commanded Miss Martin, or everybody behind you will crash into you. Three weeks left, two weeks. Froggy practiced marching everywhere, even in his sleep. At last, the big day came. The apple trees had burst into bloom, and the parade was ready to begin. Everybody was nervous, especially Froggy. Miss Martin said, now remember, don't look left, don't look right. Don't stop for anything. And the parade began. Being the youngest, Froggy Bear marched in front, led by the Major Red, the one and only Frogalina. Look at Frogalina in the front. The March Red leads the band. She had a baton in her hand. Froggy, called his father. He was jumping up and down on the sidelines, but Froggy didn't look. Froggy, called his mother. She was aiming at camera, but Froggy didn't look. Cameras flashed, clowns threw candy, and still Froggy marched looking straight ahead. Here came the, ju here came the judges stand. This was the big moment. Frogalina twirled the baton, but tossed it high into the air. And Froggy thought, don't look left, don't look right, and 
Bonk, her baton hit on the head and knocked him down. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Oof, clang, crash, and the rest of the parade piled on. So what just happened? Frogalina dropped the baton on Froggy's head. Froggy fell, and all the band crashed into him. What do you think is going to happen next? Froggy called Miss Martin. What came a muffled cry? Are you all right? Froggy crawled from the bottom of the heap and said, Don't stop for anything, and started to wail a wild swamp tune on his saxophone. So what did Froggy continue to do? Froggy continued to play. The rest of the band joined in and everybody danced in the street. And when the judges vote came in, Froggy's ragtag band had won a special award. Coolest marching band at the Apple, Blo at the Apple Blossom Parade. What's the big prize, asked Froggy. This is, said Frogalina, and she gave him a hug with a big juicy kiss smack on her cheek. Eek. Then the judges gave Froggy and his band a real prize, a big golden trophy in the shape of a saxophone. Yes, cried Froggy, and Froggy's ragtag band played one last time. Hark, kaboom, tingling, tweedledee, clash. The end. So what was the story about? What did Froggy try to do? What instrument did Froggy play? And what happened to the band while they were marching? And what happened at the end of the story? Thank you guys for reading.